Okay, this will be a super quick one because the last thing I need to tell you about images for now is how to caption them. But just before I do that, I just want to show you that um, you know how we wrapped that text box earlier? Um, so what I mean is I put text wrapping on this photograph, which means that text won't go onto it. If I move that around, the text wrap is going to follow wherever I go. So that's something to be aware of if you've got text wrap on a box, that it does follow you around. So if you experiment with your layout a bit and start trying out different locations for it, be aware that your text wrap is going to follow you, follow you to the ends of the earth. Okay, so just making sure I've actually got this properly back into position. Um, by the way, another really useful shortcut is to um, hold down the space bar. And then when you have the black arrow selected, a little hand comes up and you can click and drag around the page. I use that absolutely loads. Right, one thing we didn't do was we didn't credit this photograph, which is important to do. So you've got this default credit image credit box. Here you can put a tiny little quote. It's like a caption, really. So I might put something like, many people find dogs um, utterly irresistible. That's how you spell irresistible. I think so. Um, and then the photo, I need to actually credit the person who took the picture. That is always really, really, really important. So I got mine off Unsplash and it was by Richard Brutio. So I will put photo Richard Brutio. There we go. Um, now, um, one thing I really am not into is this hyphenation um, because it doesn't look right at such a small size. So I'll show you how to turn hyphenation off. I'll select all my text. I'll come to properties and down in my paragraphs, I have the hyphenate option, which I'm going to turn off. So I have now got my caption dehyphenated. It is small. But at print size, it's going to be, remember our reference print size when we got the piece of A4 paper out? It's going to be about that sort of size when printed, which is perfectly readable if you've got your glasses on and you're an old fart like me. Um, so uh, that's how you caption an image. Uh, and I think that's probably all I'm going to show you in this micro video. Next up, let's look at color.